Good morning, you guys. This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this sub button and be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, Path to Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for all signs. Um, this daily tea for 10 25 at 2022. I hope everybody's doing fantastical. I do, I do, I do, do. Um, this is daily, that, 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 the daily tea. So, um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free, free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave rest. Free channel, click your greeting. Love you guys. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Um, I do. We're almost, uh, um, we're almost, uh, 14, eight. So thanks so much. You guys are just the best. Um, and all the shares of the content on social media is really, really, really helping um, the channel get around to people that don't know of the channel, don't know of my business, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So every single share on social media and shares of word of mouth really, really helps it grow. So thanks so much. I appreciate it. I can tell you guys are sharing. So just say it. Okay. So I received a channeling this morning. Hey, buddy, you have food over here. You have food. Over here. I received a channeling this morning, so um, we're going to do it. I hope everybody's doing so super fantastical. I do, I do, I do, do. Okay, so this is about gang stalking, um, and we've talked about it on here before. <sighs> we've talked about it on here before. Um, I've been gang stalked. I was gang stalked for uh, years uh, years for anybody who doesn't know me and my kids years it was so bad the little boy in the local chinese restaurant said i just love watching you back in 2021 how the hell was he watching me if there wasn't a hidden camera in my house and then there was a cps report that said uh the report the person that called in to the report said um i was walking around in my bra and my underwear well last time i checked if you pay rent or mortgage on your own home you have free rights and real and rain to walk around in your bra and your underwear so why the hell is somebody peering in um through a hidden camera in my house and how the hell you know i was walking around in my bra and my underwear be my niece to hear that just saying just saying you know what i'm saying so I know there was one in my house. I know there was from the evidence of the CPS report and the little boy in the Chinese restaurant and um, Walmart and Cracker Barrel and um, and all the places that we got gang salt. I know there was. Now, people don't tell me to still to this day that I was gang stalked out in my community. Nobody speaks to my ass except for they come with business services. But like per, on a personal level nobody is still to come tell me to this day none of my family no community members nobody is still to this day to come to tell me that i was be, that i was gang stalked because they don't want me to place a lawsuit they don't want me to place a lawsuit and they don't want me to be a hashtag rich bitch but i deserve to be a hashtag rich bitch because all those years of gang stalking nobody deserves that nobody does and that's just the truth me or my kids but Nobody still to this day has come and told me that it's happened, but it, I, I know I know it did. Okay, so I bring all this up because the channel message I received was um, someone who wants organized gang stalking against you and someone who wants gang stalked you. So two different energies I'm feeling. Now they're being heavily gang stalked and they ever regret doing it to you because now it's being done to them and they don't like it yeah it's not fun it's not fun it's not fun man trust me and whoever the hell did it to me had a very unfair advantage with a hidden device up in my home and that's just the truth that's the damn truth and no and my community was so cold-hearted and so unsympathetic and so in the unempathetic they no neighbors knocked on my door and said hey you're in danger here's where the hidden camera is hey there's a tracker device on your vehicle let me help you get it off hey there's a listening device in your home no 
because they were profiting off of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's really, it's sick. It's sick. Okay, so somebody who was once being gang stalked, now they're being gang stalked. Um, and I did hear Aquarius energy, so they can have, uh, I feel that could be the person that um, organ, 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 orchestrated the gang stalking against you or gang stalked you. Or an Aquarius could be gang stalking these people. How that resonates. I did hear Aquarius energy. So they could have Aquarius in any aspects of their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts, whether it's a gang stalker. That's gang stalking these energies, or it's a Aquarius that once orchestrated gang stalking against you, or an Aquarius that gang stalks you. Heavy Aquarius energy. Okay. Spirit messages here. Okay. Angel of Strain. I heard they regret it because they don't uh, they don't like it now. And yeah, it's not fun. It's not fun. Gang stalking is People do the gang stalking to try to put you in a mental prison, basically. They try to put you in a mental prison to declare yourself crazy so you will get scared and freaked out and run to the mental health local mental health institution that probably their grandpa, their grandma, or their aunt or uncle has investments and money into the stock and bonds there. Just saying, just saying. Or the local hospital with the psych ward where their aunt, uh, their aunt works, or their uncle works. Just saying, just saying. Share your messages here, I like it. Man holding a heart. Blossoming of abundance. Number 50, 45, or 3 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 50, 45, or 3, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. 50, 45, or 3. Um, yeah, I will say from personal experience from being gang stalked, um, it's not fun. And if you're not mentally strong, it can get to you in a New York minute. And I'm just being serious. It can get to you in a New York minute. A New York minute. Um, but I was mentally strong, and first I didn't know what the hell was going on, and I, I didn't want to just jump to conclusions, but when so, so many weird things were happening in so many different places, by so many different people, in public, all in public, I knew. I, I mean, it was just putting two two together, two and two equals four, and that's just the truth. It doesn't equal 4.5, it don't equal 4.8, it don't equal 4.2, it equals four. And uh, coupled with the CPS report of them reporting into CPS that I was walking around my bra and underwear and the statement of the Chinese boy at the Chinese restaurant and weird, creepy older men oogling my daughter's goodies in Walmart when almost one I had to chase down with the mop. Yeah, that's just the truth. That's the truth, man. Angel of strength, man holding a heart, blossom of abundance.
A very significant package and a letter is about to become very significant in somebody's life. And someone's family is an inten is intentionally holding holding back someone's address and contact information from someone intentionally. But that's about to backfire. This family knows the contact information and the address, but they're holding it back uh, for specific reasons. But it's about to backfire. Okay, so a particular package and a letter is about to become very significant and somebody's talked to family is probably talks to family that knows about gang stalking or is having this Aquarius gang stalked or having somebody gang stalked. However that resonates, uh, they're holding back some information on somebody. Um, I heard um, address and contact information strategically. Um, somebody's talked to family on this. But, um, but I heard that's about to backfire. Um, Someone's about to get it. Someone's about to get it is what I heard. Someone's about to get it. So someone's about to get it. Someone's about to get the um the contact information. Uh whether it's um I feel a name or phone number or address or something of that nature. How that resonates and applies, okay? And one of these energies are about to start getting gang stalked so bad. So bad. It is about to lead to violence in public. There will be an arrest in one of these situations. Okay, and one of these energies is about to get gang stalked so bad it's about to lead to violence in public. Violent so bad that basically um, they are um, they are going to um, uh, it's going to lead to an arrest. It's going to lead to arrest. So, like this isn't like disturbing the peace. This is like domestic violence. Is what I'm what I'm feeling here. Like to, like knocking it to you, bucking it. Like physical fights. My God. Like domestic violence is what I'm presuming. I mean. I didn't hear specifically what the charges will be, but I mean, damn, something like that. I mean, to me, that's more than disturbing the peace. My little crappy little wimpy ass disturbing the peace charge, which wasn't even really disturbing the peace because it was on my fucking property. Just saying, just saying. Um, and I had the body cam footage to prove that shit. And I will always keep it under lock and key, bitch. Just saying. But anyways, um, yeah, so I heard somebody, um, somebody, uh, is about to basically, um, uh, one of these situations is about to get violent, basically. It's about to get violent, man, and when it gets violent, it's, the police are going to get called. So, okay, so one of these situations is an Aquarius, uh, well, I heard Aquarius, I heard Aquarius, so I feel it can go all three ways, but one of them is, um, Somebody that once gang stalked you. So that they once gang stalked you whether they're an Aquarius or not. And one, they um they uh orchestrated gang stalking against you. But one of these situations, they basically um it's about to get violent. It's about to get violent. So strain, strain. Um now I don't know where the man holding the heart comes in there. Maybe somebody's gonna have sympathy for this situation, but the thing is is Listen, I spoke out about my gang stalking. I was telling people in my community and telling people in my community and telling people in my community. They didn't listen to me. They didn't listen to me. But it's because they were gang stalking my ass and they were in on it. And I figured that out now. It's because they didn't want to believe me because they were in on it with assholes that gang stalked me. And that's just the truth. So I get it now why they didn't um, do anything about it in the past because they were in on gang stalking my ass someone is getting a huge wake-up call someone's getting i'm serious i'm serious i figured it out now i i was so emotional about it when it was going on i couldn't figure out why nobody would help 
back then. But now I understand looking hindsight as 2020 because they were all in on this shit. They were profiting off of it in some shape, form, or fashion. And that's just the truth. Someone's about to really step up soon. Really step up. They realized they were so wrong in the past. A very significant text is about to become significant and a letter in the mail. Someone's about to really step up. They realized they were so wrong in the past. A very significant text and a letter in the mail is about to become significant. So some kind of text message. Um... That could be to you. You could be seeing the text. You could be receiving the text. But somebody's about to step up. I think it's a man about to step up or a femme and they're masculine. They're about to have a lot of strength. They're about to step up. Um, or you could be a man they're stepping up to or a femme and you're masculine that they're about to step up to. Energies can be reversed. But somebody's about to step up. They're about to have strength to do it. Whether you're a masculine about to step up or a femme and you're masculine about to step up or you're a masculine about to step up. Um, or be stepped up to a masculine about to be stepped up to or a femme about to be stepped up to in your masculine um if somebody's about to step up to the situation um some kind of text and um uh united states postal service letter however that resonates text lots of me abundance There is about to be a very significant lawsuit in a family, and it is going to be very successful. It's information with this. There's about to be a very significant lawsuit in a family. It's going to be very successful information with this. So some kind of lawsuit in a family, uh, upcoming it sounds like. I heard it's going to be very successful. Um, how that resonates and applies. It sounds like Family member or members stole another family or member's money or property or assets or something like that. I, I mean, I didn't specifically hear what it was, but I'm feeling it might be over a uh, will, uh, property, or um, money or something of that nature is what I'm feeling. Because I heard lawsuit in a family. I mean, so I think it's a family suing another family member, but there's a reason they're about to sue another family member. Over blossoming of abundance, over money, which is sick. It's sick in the head, man. You know, that's why, one, we shouldn't gang stalk folks and let people actually go live free and go live their lives, businesses, jobs, building and growing and manifesting themselves, and quit stealing people's money. Go out and get a job or um, start a business. And that's just the truth. The gang stalking doesn't make any fucking sense. It just doesn't. If he might need to hear that. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Someone was strategically trying to bring a uh, masculine energy towards towards you. They know they have a STD, but that has not happened, and it will not happen. These people will not be sexually together. The feminine energy will not allow it. Someone is very pissed about this. Okay. Well, I'm about to close it. That's weird. Okay, so, um, all right. So, there's a somebody. It's probably your toxic-ass family. Same one you're about to sue is what I'm presuming for one of you guys. Because one of you guys are about to sue your family. But it's over blossoming abundance, over will, property, inheritance, um, the big shit. But 
like I stated earlier, that's why you shouldn't steal other people's shit. Their will, property, assets, and inheritance. You should just go out if you don't have a, if you don't have a freaking um, will. I mean, and you're not in the will, and you're not, you don't have property left to you, or assets left to you, or money left to you from family member members or somebody not in your family. That's why you should go out and get a job. That's why you should go out and start a business. And that's just the truth. Don't steal it from other folks. If anybody needs to hear that. That's whacking the fucking head. And so is that gang stalking shit. If anybody needs to hear that. Okay, so I heard somebody was trying to send a masculine energy towards a feminine energy for um for uh strictly for them to sleep with them. I heard the masculine energy has a serious STD. But I heard it's not gonna happen. Um he's not gonna allow it to happen either. He cares about the situation now. Okay, I heard he's not going to allow it to happen either. He cares about the situation now. So I think in the in the past, maybe he was all about, oh, yeah, I'll bang her, I'll give her STD, and blah, 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 blah. But you got to be careful because if you've got, especially something serious like HII, and I didn't hear what kind of STD it is. I don't know if it's treatable or not treatable. But if it's something very serious like HIV or AIDS, and this person goes around and just free willingly sleeps with this femme energy and doesn't inform them they have HIV or AIDS, the femme energy can come back and sue their ass. Because you're supposed, if you have HIV or AIDS, you're supposed to be sexually responsible and notify the party of parties that you have it. And that's just the truth. So I didn't hear what STD it is, but my point is, is I heard he's not going to allow it to happen now anyways, because he cares about the situation. And good, he should. He should care about the situation, um, especially if he's got HIV or AIDS, because that could boomerang and backfire on his ass in the form of a lawsuit. But if it's any other kind of STD, you should be responsible with your sexual health. That's how I ended up getting it. I've only had, listen, I just want to tell you guys and then I'll close it, okay? I've had one STD in my life, one. And it was shortly, it was when I was working my first nursing job a long time ago, back in like, good God, like 2014 or 15 or something like that it was a long it was 14 it was 14 it was a long time ago it was my first nursing job i was working night shift at a little nursing home here in huntsville and um i was night supervisor there and um i was dating well i wasn't really dating well we were dating we were dating it was just casual dating this guy from my hometown and um just casual just casually but he was, he was a year younger than me in school. And uh, and his his kids went to the same ballpark that my kids went to. And, we, I mean, we were always cool, you know, uh, whatever, whatever. Um, sex was good. It was really good. But he didn't tell me he had an STD. He had trichomonas, man. We had sex one time. One time. It was really fucking good a couple of times, but it was only one time. He ended up giving me trick. I hadn't been with anybody for like five or six months previous to that. And I told him that. Um, but he ended up giving me trick, trick of monus, And I had to go the, uh, to the public health department and get medication. Now, I took all my medication, my antibiotics, and it cleared up. And I'm trick of free. And I have been for a long ass time. God, that was like eight years ago. So eight, eight years ago. But my point is, it can happen. If that had been HIV, you better believe I would have sued his ass. And that's just the truth. If it was something I couldn't have got medication for and treated, I would have sued the shit out of him. And that's just the truth. That's the truth. So, whoever this is, though, it's a masculine energy and somebody wanted him to come towards you, Fem Energy, um, to give you an STD, basically. But I heard it's not going to happen. He cares about the situation now. Um, and he should care about your health. He should care about your health and other people's health because that's just, that's not correct. I didn't hear what that to be it was, okay? I love you guys. I hope this helped and I hope everybody has a wonderful day and I will stay.